then comes introduction to tableau and products all right let me be a student of uh, vishwajit today and understand what exactly this tableau uh, tool does and i'll try to understand it in a way that uh, i I'm, i'm listening to this for the very first time and let him make make me understand what this is about and whatever questions i'll be having i'll just ask it right away so shall we start definitely please yep so tableau so tableau started off in 2003 and they got acquired by salesforce in 2019 i how such long yeah 2019 they got acquired and uh, 16 years 16 years yeah and the reason why i mentioned it because uh, it definitely has kind of changed how data analytics inside tableau is working right now tableau so, has changed the market completely when it comes to data visualization yeah and uh, so first of all uh, so tableau is a data analytics platform as you mentioned earlier it empowers business doing complex data actionable insights and uh, it has a drag and drop interface like you don't have to write the queries you don't have to write the scripts you can definitely use them like if you are using r uh, r scripting python scripting for your you know some kind of data analytics you can use that but you don't have to do it specifically when you are using tableau if you want to do it you can do it but it's not required they have a wis query which is basically visual query you can you know create your own query such simply by dragging and dropping your data sets and certain parameters into the filters into the data uh, columns that you want to view and the grouping that you want to apply you can do that it provides advanced data exploration and analytics capability so basically it allows businesses to you know have some data analytics models and tools and uh, certain predictive uh, predictions to be done inside data itself only which can be helpful for us or identifying whether uh, this is likely to be converted or not so we can use that kind of information and then not only that tableau gets integrated with different platforms as well and it offers strong mobile capabilities and when i say it get connected with different cloud platforms why we need that once you have identified the data once you have let's say created the data you have data set you have done some kind of analysis you have done some kind of uh, insights now you would want to take actions on to it like you have identified okay there has been a decrease in our sales and we can see the page visits or uh, the page visits on our website is going down so you want to take actions on to it so you can configure those actions so for that you would be needing some kind of integration for connecting tableau with some different platforms so over there we have that capability as well so primarily tableau is kind of defined uh, divided into you know four sections uh, not four section but four pieces tableau desktop tableau prep tableau server and tableau cloud so when is it tableau desktop is it a desktop application that you install yes okay i will be uh, going deep into that so tableau server and tableau cloud i will explain a little bit later so tableau desktop is basically a way where a data scientist or a business um, you know business owner or a stakeholder can simply go in create their data sets bringing them from different different places doing some kind of analysis adding some kind of formula some calculated insights onto it adding on some kind of configurations onto it so tableau desktop is the core place where you kind of get the data you kind of you know uh, create some kind of reports some visualizations out of it so that is tableau desktop then we have tableau prep so tableau prep is basically the part of tableau which allows us to extract the data from different different sources transform it according to our need and then load into tableau so tableau prep is kind of a tool which allows us to get the data transform it then store it inside tableau so these two are the core things now let's say as a data scientist as a business manager or a stakeholder you have done that now you would want to give access you would want to you know showcase this data to your team members to your stakeholders or to your partners itself only in that sense you want some kind of collaboration capability now how do you get that tableau desktop is a desktop application as you just said so we have tableau cloud and tableau server so tableau cloud is basically a renamed version of tableau online so tableau cloud is a capability where we have the you know data and our complete dashboard complete visualization is stored online and you can simply share it with them have uh, you know some kind of collaboration with them activate onto it so you have a tableau cloud environment where you can you know get uh, licenses per user per uh, login basis and you share it with them then you have tableau server in tableau server it's the same thing but you keep the server in your infra uh, infrastructure in your premises or in your cloud provider and you have complete control over how 
the data is flowing in between that and how the data is being stored. So for some kind of compliances, regulation or some for security measures itself only, you want to do that, you can use Tableau Server, else you would be using Tableau Cloud. So in Tableau Cloud, you don't have to kind of, you know, have the headache of managing the servers itself only. But still someone, uh, like a lot of businesses do not want their data to be onto the cloud and hence they yeah. can go for the server thing. And definitely in kind of uh, scenarios for uh, some of the regulation and compliances as well, they have to make sure. So like, I want to keep it inside uh, Spain region itself only. I want to keep it over here only. So a lot of compliances, a lot of compliances. Next up, we have what does Tableau do? So, 